my fellow New Yorkers. We got it. Breaking news tonight, the man accused of shooting 10 people at a New York City subway station is in police custody tonight. Police arrested 62-year-old Frank James this afternoon. Tonight, he faces federal terrorism charges. At least 29 people were treated for various injuries in the attack. Investigators are now digging through James's social media posts to look for a possible motive. Meantime, YouTube has removed an account that appears to be linked to James. Surveillance video released today appears to show him wheeling a cart down the street and carrying uh, back three hours before the attack. New York City's mayor promises to double the number of police patrolling subways in an effort to help New Yorkers feel safe. And tonight, we're hearing from a man who describes seeing James today. I see me walk in the sidewalk. I watch him with the camera from the screen. And I told, oh my God. This is the guy, he killed the seven people, we need to catch him. He was half back and his back, he was, he put on the floor like this. And I see the people walking and be next to him. I thought, guys, guys, be careful. Keep far from him, maybe he's gonna do something. Like, he was well, I wanna go to li live to Brooklyn right now. CBS 4's Bradley Blackburn is there. And Bradley, we understand it was a tip to Crime Stoppers that led police to the suspect? That's right, Elliot and Lauren. Police are crediting tipsters uh, with this. They were looking for him for hours, but they were able to locate him after those tips in Manhattan today and take him into custody. As you said, Frank James faces federal terror charges now and a possible life sentence. And we're getting more details about what happened yesterday in the subway station behind me. Authorities say that after the shooting, when he opened fire and injured 10 people with gunfire, he hopped on another subway train to escape from this station. That's how he was able to uh, evade police for so many hours. And as you also mentioned, authorities are coming through those social media posts, hours and hours of tape of him ranting, sometimes violently, against many different people, including New York City's Mayor Eric Adams, also talking about homelessness in the subway and even saying, Elliot and Lauren, how easy he thought it would be to commit a crime in the city subway system. Bradley, you mentioned that they're going through those social media posts. Any inkling at this point as to what a possible motive could be? Is that what they're looking for in that social media information? That's certainly part of what they're looking for. You can imagine they'll be interviewing him as well, trying to get to the bottom of this. Uh, but that is, that is the question. They're going to want to find a motive here, but he faces some very serious charges. And meanwhile, I should mention, guys, it's been fascinating to stand here today and watch so many people coming in and out of this subway station. This station reopened before uh, an arrest had even happened. So New Yorkers were using the same platform where the shooting occurred, moving on with their lives while this manhunt was still under way. Yeah, and speaking of moving on with their lives, New Yorkers, of course, are famous for being so resilient. Nothing phases them, right? That's what we're, we're led to believe, and so many New Yorkers live here in South Florida. Uh, how, what's the feeling like now? Are people still a bit apprehensive going into the subway? Well, Elliot, you know, the subway system has come back significantly since, an, since the drop-off during the pandemic. Roughly three million people were riding on Monday. Uh, and it's important to remember that this incident, this shooting, is just the latest in a series of troubling things that have happened in the subway. This shooting, there were, there were incidents where a woman was pushed onto the tracks earlier this year. So there has been a general sense of unease uh, among commuters that rely on the subway every, every day. And as you know, people depend on the subway to get around here. It's not an option uh, to avoid it. So the mayor is hoping to address some of the anxiety around this by increasing the number of police officers that are patrolling the subway system. And there's even been talk of possibly putting metal detectors in some stations uh, as another form of security. So a lot of questions to be answered, Bradley, like this man's criminal record, how he was able to get a gun, so much information yet to unfold. Thank you so much for bringing us the very latest of what you know right now out of Brooklyn, New York.